Hello, let's continue our Sudoku adventure with Let's Play Ball by Tony Zampini. So this is in celebration of the MLB All-Stars game that's happening next week. So uh, you can see it's a baseball diamond. That's pretty neat. So let's go over the rules. We have normal 6x6 Sudoku rules, meaning in every row, every column, and every 2x3 box. We are placing the digits 1 to 6 exactly once each. We also have these... Um, Let's do the lines first. We have these palindrome lines in the grid. So the way palindrome lines work is they have to read the same forwards and backwards. So for example, it could be one, four, let's do one, three, one. It reads one, three, one this way and one, three, one this way. So however you read it, it should read the same. And then in addition to that, we have um, these white dots in the grid. These are consecutive pair dots. So Basically, digits that are separated by a white dot must be consecutive. So if this was a 2, this could be a 1, because 1 is consecutive to 2. It could also be a 3, because 3 is consecutive to 2. We can't do 2, 5, because those are not consecutive digits. Now, I can also put consecutive digits elsewhere. We're not prevented from that, even though there's no white dot. Um, not all the dots are necessarily given. All right, and those are the rules. There's a link in the description if you'd like to try the puzzle yourself. And I'm going to get started right now, so the palindrome rule basically creates clones in the grid. Whatever digit goes here has to go here, and that will fulfill the palindrome. The middle digit can be whatever it wants because it doesn't have to repeat anywhere. So these two are the same digit as each other. Let's call that green, whatever it is. Now, what could green actually be? Well, it could be a 1. It could be a 2. It can't be 3. This, this green sees a 3. It could be a 4. It can't be a 5 because this screen sees a 5, and it can't be a 6 because this screen sees a 6. So we're down to 1, 2, 4 there. Now this, these two are also the same digit as each other because of the palindrome. Um, and th it has to be consecutive with 1, 2, 4. So if this was a 1, this could be a 2. That seems reasonable. If this was a 2, it could be a 1, also reasonable. Um, if this was a 4, it cannot be a 3 because purple can't be 3, but it could be a 5. Okay. And now these two are the same digit as each other. Now, something to be careful about is that it could be green. And this could be purple. So whatever these are, they are the same digits as each other. But I'm not going to give it a color yet. Because we don't know if it's green or a new color. And we don't want to confuse ourselves. Um, is there anything we can say about green? These two greens look down. So green's one of these two cells. Same purple's down here. This could Purple could be two. So it could be this two. Okay, I'm not sure. So let's just think about what this can be. 1 and 2. So the 1 is not possible in purple, because then this would have to be a 2, and uh, that 2 prevents that from happening. So purple is not 1, which means that green can't be 2, because we no longer can go with 1 on the purple, and we also can't go with 3 on the purple. So this can't be 2. So 1's going to go with 2, 4 is going to go with 5. That's all viable. So 2 could go with 1. That seems reasonable. Uh, it cannot go with 3 because there's a 3 in this box. Uh, 5 could go with 4, or it could go with 6. Okay. Now, this cell needs to be consecutive with both 1, 4 and 1, 4, 6. Interesting. And it can't be a 2. So there, there's no way either of these are 1s. Um, so yeah, let's just start here. This can't be a 1 because this can't be a 2 because that gets cloned down here and it would be in the same row as this 2. So that means green is 4. So I don't need to call it green anymore because I can call it 4 instead. Um, and so 4 needs to go with 5. So we don't need to call that purple. We can just call that 5. Now 5 can go with, with 4 or 6. So this is 4 or 6. Now this cell need, cannot be 5. So this cell has to be... Ooh, but then how are these going to be consecutive? I was going to say 4 needs to go with... Oh, sorry. For some reason I thought it had to go with 5 or 6. I don't know why I thought that. Uh, 4 can, can't, what needs to go with 3 or 5, and so these both are 3, and so 3 then goes with 4. Alright, so actually, these did end up being the same digit as each other. Interesting. Um, Alright, so that's it for the palindromes and the white dots, so I hopefully it just solves from here using Sudoku. Um, 3, 5, 4, 2, where are we starting? Right, 3 in this row. This isn't 3, this isn't 3, so 3 goes here. Let's follow up on threes. Uh, we get a deet, deet, deet in the corner for placing a three in the corner. That's three in the spotlight. All right, so three down here, and three in this box goes here. All right, remember the middle palindromes don't, can be anything. They don't clone anywhere. Um, 
Okay, so now in this row we need a 2, which can only go here, and then we need a 1. That was very helpful. So here we need a 1 and 5, which are not finished. And then here we need a 2 and 6, which are not finished. This box needs a 1, 2, and 6. I don't know any... Oh, I know, but I know this isn't 6. So the 6 goes in one of these two, which does put the 6 down here. In fact, this is 1, 5, 6. How do, is this really enough to finish? Maybe this bottom row is restricted similarly to the top row. Yeah, so we need a 5 in the bottom row. These 5 see there. So this is a 5, this is a 6, this is a 1 and a 5. All right, and then we need a 6 in the bottom row. This 6 tells us not here. So that's 6, and that's 1. There we go, 2 and 6. That was what we needed. Um, here with the 3, we need a 1 and a 5. That's 1, that's 5. Over here, we need a 2 and 4. So that's 2 and 4. So that 4 there. This is our 3. Nope, not 3. 2. <laughs> Let's do it right. Uh, these two are... Let's see, this is the 6 for the row. This is the 1. Uh, this is a 1. And then down here, we need 2 and 6. And we're done. All right, neat puzzle. I liked how we kind of ran around the bases. <laughs> I'm sure that was intentional. But the, the way that the consecutive dots kind of had us um, kind of going around and then backtracking when, when digits got restricted. Uh, that was pretty fun. So cool puzzle. To what am I saying? Po cool puzzle, Tony. <laughs> Why was that so hard to say? Um, I enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed it as well. And if you did, then why not leave a like, subscribe, and a kind comment below. Thank you.